For today's video, we are proud to be working with the Dollar Shave Club. So this is the beginning of this vlog. This vlog almost didn't happen. Have you never heard of muck banging? Time to go, it's time to go, it's time to go. Drink slave. I'll wake him up. Bye, 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 hey, Whoa, whoa, whoa. So here's the thing. I love doing vlogs. I love doing travel things. I love just making these videos and making them fun. And you know what? I tried to do this last year. I tried to shoot this vlog last year and it started like this. And then halfway through the event, I was having just so much fun enjoying the event. I completely forgot to vlog. I completely forgot to like recharge batteries. I was just having a really good time. But the parts that I did record were, were so much fun. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Wait, I can do this. Wait, ready? Yep. But this year, well, this year I made this tweet. And so many of you guys were like, vlog, 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 vlog. I have a lot of fun making these videos. I have a lot of fun watching them. And you guys always have a lot of questions as far as how events are different, or how they differ, but also get some of the fun experiences that we're having because it's, it's jam packed. So without further ado, but before we get into today's video fully, I gotta do something about this fuzz. Yeah. Thankfully, today's hair raising problem can be solved by our sponsor. The Dollar Shake Club. Much better. As you guys know, we travel to a lot of kink conventions. And for someone like me, who not only has to take care of myself, but also has to take care of my daddy, ah! when a razor starts to get real dull, or I forget shaving cream, even face wash, I can get bumps and scrapes that just don't look nice, especially when I'm trying to film stuff. I didn't have to get any toiletries for this upcoming trip that we just had because Dollar Shave Club had it all. Shaving needs, toiletry needs, oral needs, Aww. even butt wipes. So you know they're not gonna clean you out. So at least not when it comes to the price because right now they are offering a shave, a shower, or an oral starter kit for only $5. And I specifically asked to try this shave set, which has the executive razor, Dr. Carver's prep scrub, shave butter, and post shave too. Personally, I liked the prep scrub. If you got enough on your skin, it got a nice like tingling sensation before you took all the hair away. And also if you're into like other hair removal sorts of things, this set is great for you. And you can get your very own starter set by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash Watts. That's W-A-T-T-S for your very own starter set for five dollars. So now that we've shaved some time from the episode because we don't have any mid-roll ads or pre-roll ads, let's get to this travel video. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out. Christopher joining us later. Yeah, Christopher's not here right now, but you are, Gromit. Hello. Say hello, Gromit. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Much like me, I like my sandwiches made to order. Is that a good one, Squish? No. You, you laughed. I heard, I heard that laughter. <laughs> if you'll notice at the beginning of this episode, Christopher, he ain't here yet. <laughs> because myself, along with a bunch of other Mr. S crew, people from my real place of work, are traveling to Cleveland together. So Squish and Gromit are two of those people. What gate are we? 90? Today we are off to Cleveland. Uh, I'm here with Gromit. I think this is our line in front of us. Oh God. And since Christopher isn't here, you guys are just gonna get Gromit foreign for now while he eats. <laughs> Have you never heard of muck banging? Oh. No, no, muck banging. Did you, did you say muff banging? <laughs> yeah, I get it, daddy. You're not daddy, but you're a, a, you're yes. someone's daddy, right? Oh, lucky you. I'm in the middle of both of you. Yes. All right. It's gonna be a long flight. So we are off to Cleveland today. We're off to Claw, which stands for Cleveland Leather Annual Weekend. Anyway, we're we're waiting for our flight to board. There's a lot of people. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? I think it's an ostrich. Expectation, reality. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Let's fly, perfect day. 
perfect day. Perfect day. You can now use your phones and other small devices. Please check your seat back pocket and area around your seat to make sure of all of your belongings and be careful when opening those. Perfect day. And now we're here. Alright, everyone got their personal bags. Everyone got their bags. We made it! Ah! Gromit, I know you want to get some head, but this is ridiculous. Why do you have so many bags? Jesus Christ. I, I pack heavy. I have a lot of outfit changes. Grandma, get on, get on, get on. No, no, don't get on. I was kidding, I was kidding. Get off, get off, get off. Come on, man. <laughs> You're no fun. Great view. There's no one here yet, but uh, we should check out our room first. Oh, there it goes. Haha. -ha. So. Here is our room. Actually, the room has great front lighting. I need a pair of whatever the kind of blinds these are. We made it to Cleveland. We're gonna get unpacked in just a second. Uh, and then I think we're gonna go downstairs and just kind of socialize for a bit. I really like the first nights of conventions because they're really low key. All of the people that you know are gonna be working the entire weekend that you see at every event are here the first night and are just super chill and mellow. So it's always nice to catch up with them. I turned the light on, where's the light? Oh god. <laughs> but also, did you even go to a king convention if you didn't have a room tour? I, actually, these rooms are really nice. Bathroom with um, some nice see-through showers. I'm gonna have fun with that. Bedroom where all the magic happens, but twice. Entertainment systems. And finally, my favorite part, full wall mirrors placed discreetly and very nicely right next to the beds. You know what we're gonna do with that. Before we go downstairs though, I think it's always a good idea to take out any leathers or things that you don't want to be squished. Baggots, leather pants, neoprene gear, more pants, tidal sashes. Okay. I'm gonna hang these and then I'm gonna go downstairs. I'll wear this for now, just to be, you know, just a nice little casual shirt. Let's go socialize. Oh, and then Christopher will get here eventually. I, I still don't know when he's coming, but isn't that always the case? <laughs> Okay, so we decided not to stay in the lobby for at least the first hour and grab an actual meal in this cute little downtown. Are you recording? No, no, not at all. Good morning. Today we are setting up, and Christopher's done in the bathroom. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my camera. Who are you talking to? Hi, hi. Good morning. Hi. So we slept wonderfully. Time to go. Uh, time to go. It's time to go. It is day technically zero because tomorrow is the first day of the convention, and today we set up. We just finished breakfast, and we just put the entire booth together. That's five pallets of gear. Which is not that big. Usually it's like 10, yes, but we have half the number of people and half the number of gear, so it's still, comparably, it's still quite a lot. But I'm just slipping on something comfortable because... Yes? Go on, I just want... Don't be creepy. Mm. Entertain, entertain them while can I get changed. Can I get over there too? You can get right there and talk to the camera and tell them about your favorite part of CLAW. My favorite part of CLAW is the education and the classes. 
Because. <laughs> because this is the only place, uh, convention, where education is the central part. It's not about uh, a contest, which is what most of these events are about. So this is a great place to learn about all sorts of kinks and polydynamics, trans issues. Them, them. I am telling them. I'm just twirling as I do it. This blinks the puppy when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> the education. That's why I like cloth. They do a good job. Nice. Thank you. Are you ready to set up? I'm ready to set up. Do you know what you're working this weekend? Are you still doing electrical? I have no idea. If you're not, would you be shocked? <laughs> Were you having like pun withdrawal? <laughs> pun drawl? Is all pent up, punt up. Or y'all punt up. <laughs> you're so, so handsome. So handsome. You're so much. <laughs> No naps. Wait, need to Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. So once we have all the scaffolding and grid wall up, then we hang pegs, and then we hang everything placeholder until we get everything organized. There's still a lot of stuff in boxes though. Get ahead of yourself. Another important thing is getting everything out of bags. And just making sure all the merchandise has a place. For setup today, we're having a pun off. Hey Todd, are you ready to pod piece everything together? Mm. Hey, don't boo me. Hey Daddy, if you have any jokes, you should sock it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, puppy. Hi. You trying to make heads or tails out of this? <laughs> Are you in a tailspin? <laughs> Those jokes were tailor made for, for this wall right here. Points. Get out. Yeah, go, go, go. Put your wall together. <laughs> ah! What did you do? Puppy, help me. I'm documenting it. Is that helping? Oh, Jesus. You got it. It's okay. I really love hanging out with you. Are you, just, are you ignoring me now? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, hey, you. It's like, a, it's like a cage. Like hey. Like hey. You. How are you, Gromit? I'm good. Now I can just spread this. Here we go. Sports gear. Ah! Oh I'd say we're about a third of the way there. No, not that way, Todd. No, the other way. No, not the. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right there. Booth is uh, almost there, but it is lunchtime and I'm getting hungry. It's looking really good though. It's food time. I don't want any. I'm oh, good. what? Wait, what? I don't want any. Are you hungry. okay? I'm not you hungry. don't want food? Yeah. Oh, oh, now I recognize you. Sometimes I don't even have the camera on, but when I just randomly turn it on and you're having a hard time, it's, it, makes, it makes my day. <laughs> so we're at, oh my, my shirt's gone. My, I didn't even put my hands down. <laughs> Lunch time. Okay, so you have to leave your hand over here. <laughs> He's just in a dancing mood today. Saying, no, you don't you don't grab the dollar, I have to put it. I make a terrible Google play. You're like, oh thank you. There you go. There you go. Just give me your money.
Uh, we're going to Starbucks first. Because we need coffee. We are making a quick coffee run. Just kind of seeing the city and there's... Does anyone else see a butt plug? Kind of looks like a butt plug, doesn't it? <laughs> That's what I forgot to bring to. A butt plug? Oh, whatever we do, I don't understand this bit. Like by myself. Coffee! Yay, Daddy's doing my job instead of me. I mean, thank you for helping. Did you know that these are some of my designs? I know, they're very good too. Oh, thank you. I like this. It's very hot. You're a good designer. Oh, thank you. I like the person who designed these. That, no, that's a hanger. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Mine's broken. You good? Yes. So, some people don't know is I actually design clothes for Mistress as well. So, these guys, all of these, what? Yep, the nitro line. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, socks. Oh, God. No, okay. Um, I won't stand for this. I put my foot down because they're socks. Did you get it? You're such a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, no. This tape is awful. <laughs> Yay. I think with the tape up, that means we're done? I think. Well done. Did you just try to mouth pop? I did. I can't do it. No, no. Now you have to. No, now no, you no, do no, it again. No, I can't do it. It's so Come bad. Come on, Todd. It's a... That's oh. all I got. I'll, I'll put sounds wow. in there to make it sound like you did Thank a really you. good job. Thank okay, do it one more time for me. Oh my god. Thank you. So real. So good. Hold on, pause this shit. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Yes, mama boots the house down for your nerves work. Um, we are done. Let's do a quick booth tour. The quickest. Neoprene. Leather shirts, Serious? leather pants, no. electrical, what? ooh, tails, <laughs> harnesses, jock strap, puppy hood, daddies on their phones. We're doing a booth tour. Hi. It looks fantastic. No, oh, thank you. Back to the hoods, puppies, hats, sod, socks. Shirts, boot tour, done. Woo! We're, we're done here for the night. There's day z zero. Day zero? Yeah, because it's not day one. What? Day one. No, day zero, technically. Day one is tomorrow, and you're naked. Um, <laughs> day zero, which is set up. All done. We are... Look, I'm not naked from this show. From the waist up. Go. How was your day? It was good, except I locked. So, I had to run up to get my ID to register for Claw, but I had grabbed my hotel room uh -huh. key from the last hotel I was in uh -huh. Mexico instead of our hotel room, and I had to wait 19 floors down, up and down, people getting in and out uh -huh. to go back down and go get a new key for the front desk. I think I can see your butt in the mirror behind you. But we're gonna relax. Uh, oh, wait. No. We have to go to... Oh wait, Daddy. Uh... Isn't there an event tonight? Wait, why are you... Yeah. When did you put... Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was that a stupid bit? <laughs> I think you're ready. I think that's it. Are we ready? You're freaking one thing. The bunny! Yeah! <laughs> no, do we actually have everything now? I do. Okay. <laughs> These elevators are unbearable. Yeah, I said these elevators are unbearable. I said these on the. What? I was barely even trying that time. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we are all ready. We're going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a big museum about music and rock and roll. So, it should be really cute. Are you getting warm? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. And we're taking a nice little romantic walk. This is so romantic. It is. Look at the, there's a street. A Ooh. Lizard. An ACOM, you take me to the nicest places.
Well, most of my dates are at a meatpacking class. <laughs> Let's go! What? Really? <laughs> I was trying to get nice scenic footage and you're over here belching. <laughs> I, I can't get that. street noise if you're belching. Now shh, I'm getting street noise. Although I just berated you, which is probably going to be more interesting than street noise footage, so... How dare you! There it is, you can see it. Can you see it? He's can so you see it? Can you see it? I don't know. Yep, just taking a photo here. Definitely not a video. Um, <laughs> yep, just... Oh no, stay, no, stop a, moving, no. I'm getting no. us a ride. Oh, Puppy. thank you, great. Have you ever had sex in a car? Wow. Daddy. Alright, you ready? Let's go inside. You ready, Daddy? Show me your best moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey daddy. Yeah. Do you think this escalates our humor? Hi, Brew. <laughs> Is this the right floor? <laughs> oh god, what is he screaming about? Whoa. Give me your best toxic. Suck at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I, I want to look away, but I can't. Daddy. Oh my god. It's so much smaller. I'm a top hat. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Wow, that is a color. That is a color. Excuse me. Hey, where's my drink? Drink slave. I'm simply asking for you to be my drink slave. What don't you understand? It works for Christine. I figured it would work for me. Apparently not. But this is stairways this way. We couldn't find we couldn't find it, but wait, what's behind the curtain? Oh my god, wait, no! Oh jeez, what if you actually actually falling down that? Oh my god. Okay, no more no no more pretend falling, please. Because it's a a long way down. Uh-oh. Bro, someone's got your lead. Now it's a real dog and pony show. <laughs> Bye. Go get him, Daddy. Get the puppy, go get the puppy. So I forgot how extensive this museum was. This is crazy huge. There's so, six or seven floors, I think. But I, again, I always love these kind of juxtapositions of Leathermen in just the most obscure but really awesome places. Like, this is just such a nice little museum of history, of music. Everyone's dancing to all the music as we go around. It's just such a wonderful environment. Having a good time? I am. It's great being walking around the rock and hole. Rock and hole? The rock and hole? I'm sorry. Who's, who's rocking hole? My rock and hole. Ooh, walking the red carpet. Mr. Christopher, Mr. Christopher, look over here, no look over here. Oh, no, no, please, please, tell us about your secret love affair. I hear you're kinky, what's your secret kink? Here, you and Trisha Paytas have been mukbanging together. Do you have any comments? No comments, no pictures. <laughs> Daddy, you're gonna play this after working all day nine to five? <laughs> Daddy, you're gonna play this after working all day nine to five?
Oh my god, look, it's Harry Potter! <laughs> look out for the Whomping Willow! You beat it up! Find the thumpy tree. Yeah, beat it up! No, higher. Yep, there you go. Wow, you guys look real crazy right now. Didn't even ask you to do this, but you're doing it still. <laughs> I think the, I think the willow. Yes, the Whomping Willow. The Whomping Willow. Yeah, oh, don't hit my camera, please. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So they have the whole parking garage. Daddy, I didn't know you owned this hotel. The West, the Westin. Welcome. Just don't piddle on the sheets. Too late. So the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was fun. I think it's time for bed for real this time. No, no crazy camera. Would you put that butt away? Oh, the pants are stuck. Oh God, no, don't, oh God, you're gonna fall, oh geez. Money, Anthony. Uh, day one. I think so. Music has started. Everything is lit, quite literally. And we're about to open. Ah. Here we go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, you. Ah. Electrical. And daddy left this glass. I honestly. There you are. Uh, question. Is is that? Do, oh, um. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. I'm just gonna keep going over here. <laughs> oh, there's a stick over there. Ah, uh, oh. No! You need a blue ball camera. <laughs> wow, it's so small. Hey, uh, don't say that about my toys. <laughs> <laughs> so the really nice part about claw, when everyone's at their classes, it's super slow in here, so it's not too crazy. It's just a little, it's a little bit slower now. When we first opened, on the other hand, that was ridiculous. Daddy, you always have snacks. Can I, do you have any snacks? <gasps> um, you have cookies? You have what? The, I want you have I the cookie, but I want the M&M cookie. What do you mean to have the cookie? Wait, how did you... Wait. Where's the cookie part? You squeeze the cookie out. No, so that, that's not a thing. Oh my god, you're gonna have... That's too much sugar. No. Ah. Ah. Squish is truly amazing when it comes to leather. Oh, yeah. And all these all these mass dumb tops that complain about women in the community, they don't realize that those women are making your freaking harnesses. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I was just showing. Everyone thinks that no women come to these events, but Squish is like the person that makes all the things for the people at these events. Regardless of age or gender, non-binary, trans, eh, all the people are welcome. You just Why can't we all just be respectful of these spaces? That's the combo. <laughs> I have mastered this now. Oh no. Oh no. I did my first I, I know what happened last time we did this. Oh god. I'm so... Nope. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more. Yeah. Oh, well, you got... You, you, you had to use both hands, though. You, you're only supposed to use one hand. That's true, but... I better. This one's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken. It's backwards, Daddy. Oh, that kind of worked. Yeah, okay, now fan yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, you're so good at that. But, uh, I mean, I didn't throw it across the room. I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. What is? Are you? You're so hip right now with that backwards cap. How's this? Is that hip, Daddy? Oh, well, that looks like. Oh. Um. Let me go over here and talk to Squish. 
Squish is this hip? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, only once. I don't know him. I don't either. Is that how you try on a harness? So it turned eight o'clock, which is when we're closed. Took a second, got showered and changed, and now we're off to have some fun. Pony time. Yeah. Ready to horse around? <laughs> Would you say we're party animals? I'd say we're a horse and pony show. A dog and pony show. Nice try though. Horse and pony? No, dog and pony. Yes. I saw you do the glue factory. <gasps> Kidding, I was joking. Uh oh, oh no, oh god, uh oh. So we went to the jockstrap auction. It's four play. It's four play. And now Let's I've picked the up play. these two. <laughs> and we're off to the puppy mosh. For the record, my jock went for the most. I know. You went second though, out of I'm six. Second. Out of six. Yeah. You don't know what a puppy mosh is? I feel like I kinda know. It's either a sex party or no. it's one of those things where you like no. wrestle on mats and like playing balls. I mean more so the latter. But how have you never been to a puppy mosh? because I prefer just to go to sex things. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense, considering who you are. <laughs> Stefan, where did you get a lollipop? A bar. Oh, a bar you just lollipop. started eating it? Yeah, I got some I'm not really that surprised, I guess. I think we're going the right way. Good puppies. Fetch, Stefan. Oh, ew, bro. <laughs> don't, don't you dare eat that. No, get away. <laughs> Everybody say love. Oh my god. I have the urge to just scream squirrel, but I think it's a bad idea. And there is a pony hood, which means Christopher has been here. Okay, right. his cigars aren't here. His hood's been returned, so he's been here, which means he's probably on the smoking floor. We could go be social for a little bit longer. I'm currently on the fifth floor. This is the cigar floor. Ooh. Cigars this way. Let's see if we can find Daddy. 
Yeah, just so I like it dark and I can't see a damn thing in my viewfinder. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, everyone backs away as he gets the fan. I don't know if this is a good idea, Daddy. Oh, no, not quite. Yeah, oh, what? Oh, that was actually pretty okay. That was pretty okay. <laughs> Got really cold, really quick. Oh, come on, Daddy. It's cold. <sighs> can, you, can, you, can you get your key, okay? How many leather men does it take to open a door? Good job. Oh, yeah. Good job, Daddy. Oh, look how tight that open. Another lovely day. <laughs> very nice. I know. Where's your boots? Oh, I'm not gonna wear boots all day in the boot. Okay. It's day two of the actual dimension, day like 10 for us. <laughs> We're off to the booth, gonna grab a coffee on the way, and it's another lovely day. Later. Daddy, you're not gonna get a dominator. I'm already a dominator, I don't need to get one. Blue. You just, you're wearing just the blue shirt today, is that it? Okay. How was that for you? Do you know where those sheets have been? <laughs> As I do. Todd, wake him up. No. Nope. Uh, this one's on you, Todd. <laughs> that, that's your daddy. Todd. It's your daddy. Your daddy. Sick him. Sick <laughs> What? Get up. I'm, I'm taking your food. I was fully. No, don't touch that. <laughs> I think that's that's pretty true to form. Thank you. Thank you. Puppies. Puppies. Ah. What a shake? Hi. No shake. 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 Yeah. We're going to a fancy dinner tonight. It's like a fundraising dinner, but it's also like people are giving speeches. 51 states and Canadian provinces represented here. Um, outside of Ohio, the future of sex is good. In the future, this community is going to be looked back on and regarded as heroes. No. <laughs> You're invited to this private party and all Stefan wants to do is take photos on the nice stairs in this studio. Oh, sorry, yeah, portrait. Portrait. Oh, yes, to your, is this your, your private villa? Oh, yes. So spanky. So just leaving the room now, it's day three and I should probably hit the elevator button. Today I've got my entire bag of camera equipment here with me because we are teaching a class and I'm gonna to try to record it, um, but we're teaching a class on censorship and it's specifically called F Your Community Standards. So it's me, Stefan, and Dave from Mr. Friendly. It's very early because I have to brief them on the PowerPoint that I made and our class is in two hours, but I, it, like, it's like 8 a.m., which is like 5 a.m. our time, so I'm, I'm still waking up. But last night was fun. Lots of conversations, lots of people. I'm just feeling very like emotionally drained. So I made sure to go home at a reasonable time last night and decompress. Like that stuff is, it's very necessary when you are socializing with so many people and meeting so many new people. There's my elevator. Let's go. That little red blinking button means it's recording. Censorship. Yay. Oh my God, so much positivity. Okay guys, here we go one last time. Please silence all cell phones. 
there's no flotation devices under your seats, but the exit's over there. So, who are we? Uh, just real quick, brief overview. Stefan, who are you? <laughs> who am I? Besides, I figured that out myself. Um, <laughs> I run the YouTube channel and produce the content on What's the Safe Word. People call it a podcast, but for the record, podcasts are audio, not visual. <laughs> also, I'm a top. Live. <laughs> <laughs> but what is actually censorship? It's the suppression or prohibition of books, films, news. Censorship is not black and white. Cool, and all I have like a, a big misconception about censorship is that it has to be done by the government. So why are we seeing censorship increasing so frequently, so recently? A lot of it comes down to, again, Sester Basta, um, and they put anyone related to the sex field at risk. That's therapists, that's educators, that's not just adult workers, but most importantly, sex work, work. is not sex trafficking. So our class went really well. I've raced back to the booth to get quickly naked because jock straps. Ooh, the nitro. I also designed this line. It shows off our best assets. Ah. Oh, hey, Stefan. It, it took me a moment to register it was you. Oh my god, that's so funny. No, 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 no. Don't even look at him. Don't. Hey, he's there. I, I, I don't hey. know. There. I don't see anything. Hey. So the class went really well. We had a full room at 10 a.m. in the morning, which is impressive on a Sunday after everyone went out partying last night. Thank you to everyone who made it. Hopefully the audio is not awful, but uh, we had a really good time. It was an hour and a half. We almost didn't even have time for questions. There was so much information, so much discussion. So thank you guys for coming. Now time for the third and final day of the booth. on the top of your hood. I just grabbed you a drink. Why are you complaining? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Todd working very hard. So hard. I, uh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it for me? Yes, bend over. <laughs> We're almost done. Yes. <laughs> One hour left. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, eat it. Eat it, daddy, oh, woof. Day three complete. <sighs> Daddy is showering. We just got back up to the room after finally tearing everything down. And what a weekend. I did a pretty good job of vlogging, I feel like. All in all, I think it was a really good weekend though. I had a really good time meeting everyone, all the new title holders I'd never met before, seeing all my old friends. But I'm, I'm just ready for some food. <laughs> Are you hungry, Daddy? You had a good day today? Yeah, but it's funny because when this show ends, it completely ends. Everyone just goes home. Everyone's it's gone. It's a three-day weekend. So. <laughs> it's like, I want to go have a cigar and party with everybody because now I'm done. 
and I'll go down there and there'll be no one. Uh, I always love the last nights with everyone in the crew because we don't have to worry about waking up the next day and being incredibly coherent. Stefan and I and our sister Foster class went super well. What do you think, Daddy? Can't figure out why you have so many singles. Like you mean dollars? Wasn't the question, but anyway, <laughs> as you can see, packing. And then we're off to the airport with the crew and finally in our own bed. Do you have any last words, Daddy? <laughs> I think the real takeaway from this weekend, you sink your claws into some new events, meet some new friends, socialize with people, and don't forget to subscribe to what this is. <laughs> Whether you're going to CLAW, IML, MAL, or some other kink convention that we have not been invited to go to yet, always have a safe word, and today's safe word is... Oh, I kind of knew that was coming. <laughs> that safe word is grounds for punishment. Oh, Bye! <laughs> what? An event. The event itself is just wholesome and fun and super, super chill. So I hope you enjoyed this. We've got some more travel vlogs in the can. If you guys want to see more of these, please leave a like down below. Uh, if you have ideas for other episodes coming up, leave a comment. And again, a huge heartfelt thank you to the Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this episode, making sure this was possible, making sure long form content and sex positive content has a space online. So check them out if you're interested at all. They have a bunch of different sets for all sorts of bodies, types of hair, types of needs, types of scenes. You can do that by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash watts. And don't forget to subscribe to What's a Safe Word. Bye.